All right, guys, welcome. And um, this week we are changing things up just a little bit. Um, I think y'all will find that this is a little more user friendly than what we've been doing. So um, as usual, everything is going to be posted in Google Classroom. If it's pertaining to your work for the week, it's gonna be under classwork. If it's an assignment or, or excuse me, if it's an announcement, it will be under the stream, so uh, you are primarily going to be working under classwork. Now, with that said, this week is 4, 6 through 4, 10. These materials will post um, Sunday at 12 p.m. So with that said, you have a material and links post, and this will be the first thing that you should look at. It says, hello, awesome Cherry Brave. Please take some time to review our weekly agenda attached below. Uh, remember, the Google Time Meets are Monday at 8 a.m. to review the agenda together. Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. Uh, for a Google Meet over, this could be oral admin if you want me to read the questions for you or just for some help with the assignments this week. And then Friday at 1.30, um, we will share journal prompts uh, with the optional activity throughout the week because those activities are really fun and I love to hear people's um creative side that they use to complete those activities. Um, so please remember that it is okay if you can't make the live meet. If you miss it or you can't make it, just review it on the 4, 6 through 4, 10 recorded Google Meets uh, review link, which is gonna be attached in our agenda. With that said, Google Meet joins will always be posted under the classwork tab. I've actually started putting them in as an assignment um, to where when uh, and they'll typically post 5 o'clock p.m. the day before. And so you'll see that invite um, right here posted as an assignment in your tile. And you'll just click it and the link will be right there. So uh, a little more user friendly to get to, in my opinion. Um, so with that said, guys, um, things look a little different. We don't have 9 million links and we don't have a huge set of directions. Um, that's because I made an interactive um, agenda or a hyperdoc that is um, going to make it easier. Basically, you can press what you need to press, and it's uh, the link's already there. Um, Y'all have probably used this template in science, so you're probably pretty familiar with it. It's along the same line in si uh, lines uh, in how sciences work. Uh, science, how it works in science, it, it'll kind of the logistics of it kind of work the same way in reading. Um, with that said, this is a very p uh, important piece of instructions right here. Please refer to the interactive agenda with step-by-step -step directions to complete assignments for this week. Here's the important part, guys. Key part right here. Please put in present mode and stay on slide one and work through pressing the words like first, second, et cetera, to take you to different activities. So you're not clicking through all the slides. You are only working off slide one and you are putting in present mode. So um, please make sure you've done those two things before you email and say it's not working and then you realize it's not in present mode, okay? So with that said, you'll click this and you'll open it. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to do what my direction said. I am going to put in present mode. And I'm only going to stay on this slide. So <clears throat> it says you are expected to start with the start here box first, which this is going to look a little different, guys. Uh, once I get these directions posted, the start here will be your set of directions. So just be prepared for that, that we'll all be kind of one box off, which is fine. Um, we'll figure it out because um, I think it's important for y'all to hear these directions. Um, and then my next set of directions is click on each sequence of events as you get to them and you will be redirected to your task. For example, once you finish start here, click second, then third, and so on. Okay, so you, let me move this out of the way so you can see everything. So you'll see um, that each of these are underlined and each of these underlined words are actually hyperlinked to whatever you need to go do. 
So the start here button, remember start here will eventually be these directions that I'm recording right now. So you would click it and this takes you to a mini lesson with Miss Patrick from Herndon over hyperboles, but how they're used in argumentative text. And all you have to do is watch that, that's it. Okay, and then the second thing you need to do is go to Edpuzzle. Excuse me. Log in. I'm a student. Log in with Google. And let's see if it'll let me in. Is Zach? Yes. Okay. And make sure you're in the correct class. So this is ELR. And guys, this will be on there tomorrow um, because today's Saturday. So you'll see under due assignments, it's right here. Um, it just hasn't posted yet because it's going to post tomorrow. Okay, and so once you're done with that, it's on to the next task. That's all you had to do for second. Third is watch a mini lesson with Miss Goodman. And guys, these mini lessons are so important and you would just click play. These mini lessons are so important for you to do because um, they help you do well on the graded activity. Some of y'all may be going straight to the graded activity and um, maybe even not reading the article. And it is very obvious when y'all don't do that. And I will say we're now in the third week of this. I definitely will be holding you more accountable that you are doing what's best for your learning and not just doing the graded activities because this is not what that's about. This is about learning and continuing your learning even though we're going through this tough time. Okay, so you would move on to the fourth task. Okay, oh, I see that this is a graded assignment. So this is something I definitely for sure need to make sure I do well and turn in. Um, with that said, guys, it says for this assignment, go to the assignment posted under Google Classroom tab 4, 6 through 4, 10. You will read arts education is life education and complete Google form attached to the assignment. Remember. There is a video on there for reading aloud. So there's oral admin, there's a video available for the questions to be read to you. However, if you don't wanna watch the video, you can meet with Coach Peoples for help. And you can even reach out to me or log in on Wednesdays for me to help you uh, read through the questions or just help with the questions. So what I would need to do, I would go ahead and press back. And I would exit out of here because I have to go to my classwork tab, okay? And I will see there is the 4, 6 through 4, 10 graded assignment, okay? And then it kind of has the directions that I already read, but I might read them again if it was a little unclear, okay? Uh, so read Art Education is Life Education article link below and complete the Google Form comprehension questions over the article using your knowledge of argumentative text characteristics. Attached below is a recording of the questions being re read aloud on your Google form if you would like to use it. Remember, if you would like questions read, you can always visit with Coach Peoples at her set hours and Google Meets link attached. You can always reach out to me during my virtual hours and I can read them as well. And then there's the hours for Coach People and then my hours uh, are posted on the agenda. So the first thing you would do is read this article, okay? And I there's some little notes on there for you to think about, some questions about reading that you should be thinking about as you read. Once you get done, you can X out of that, okay? And then you would do your Google Forms, okay? Which we're very well aware of, um, these Google Forms. So something to keep in mind, guys, This these questions, there's only three this week. I want you to take notice of the point value, okay? Um, you need to be thinking critically, finding text evidence, and doing your best since there is only three questions, okay? So, uh, again, some of those supports out there, here's the Google Meets if you want to meet with Coach Peoples uh, at the designated times for reading, uh, which are 10 to 11 or 2 to 3 every single day. Or if you're feeling more independent and yet you still want them read to you, you can review this video that was made by uh, Miss Poor from Herndon. 
Um, so with that said, tons of help out there. You just got to be willing to uh, get it, guys. Okay. Uh, so once you get done with that, you would go back and be like, okay, I'm done with my fourth task. I marked my assignment as done and it's to Miss Bailey now. I'm good to go on four. I would go to fifth. Okay. And for this assignment, you will go to the link choice board and complete at least one activity to serve as a free 100 participation grade. What? You better do this because, wow, a free 100. Okay, um, so some of the activities include a silly selfie. You can make a silly selfie with the caption and text it or email it to me. Um, so there, there's my number to text and then my email is kayla.bailey at rcisd, which can be found on the agenda. Okay, the other thing you can do if you don't wanna do silly selfie is imagine learning. Log on and uh, if you can shoot me an email after you get done, and I can put in that grade for you and double check that you were on Imagine Learning. Um, another one you can do is book o'clock. So you can read for 30 minutes and send me an email just summarizing what you read. And then last but not least, if you attend one of the Google meetings throughout the week, um, that will count as a free 100 and I will be taking note of who's in those Google meets. So that means if you show up Monday, Wednesday, uh, Monday at 8 a.m., Wednesday at 9.30 a.m., or Friday at 1.30, you automatically get this free 100, which is really awesome. Okay, so just keep in mind of what you think you might be doing. And guys, uh, you may get done with all this, uh, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, really fast. And so that's where, where we come to our optional activity because uh, we tend to make these pretty fun this week. I'm really excited about. Um, so with that said, guys, this assignment is not required, but will be super fun. Start by clicking the space uh, article link and read the article after reading. Decide your stance on whether you would like to stay earthbound or want to travel to space. Okay, so you would click and then it would take you to this space article in which you would read it. It's an argumentative text about going to space or staying earthbound. Um, and then as you get done, you're going to click the link to the earthbound slash space selfie and insert a selfie of your choice and explain your choice to stay earthbound or travel into space on the slide. Save to your Google Drive and we will share this on Friday. So you'll click this link and then I'll force you to make a copy. Okay, and then it even gives you some directions. So choose a slide below based on your stance from the StoryWorks article on whether you would travel to space or not and create a selfie slide pic and why or why not you would stay on Earth or travel to space. So you can see slide two is if you would want to stay on Earth, you would insert your picture and write your reasoning why. And then the second one is if you would, I'm out of this world, I would totally travel in space. Again, the reasons why, and then insert your selfie here. And we will share that on Friday. Okay, let's say you get done with that fast and you're like, I want more, I want more. Okay, go to our extra activity. It's going to um, force you to make a copy. Remember, one of the most important things in fifth grade, I've stressed this, is knowing uh, your Greek roots so you can learn bigger words and they and you don't have to look up in the dictionary every time. So um, you would just go through this slideshow step by step and you can write on these slides because uh, you made a copy. So you would just go through and you could type your answers right there. Uh, to practice some Greek and Latin roots to help you find meanings of bigger words because you're going to be big sixth graders next year um, reading much larger words. Uh, with that said, that means we have done all the activities, whether they're um, mandatory or optional or just extra. So if you look below, it says office hours for Mrs. Bailey or virtual hours. Is Monday through Friday, 9 through 11, and 4 through 5. You can always reach me at my email, kayla.bailey at rcisd.org, or 
just shoot me a text or even call me at 903-345-5098. Um, I also have all of my basic information linked over here. So if you can't find um, uh, Coach People's study hall links, it's also on here with the hours and you can click right here for the Google Meet link. Okay, and then of course press back. Okay, um, it also has a schedule of my Google Meets with all the links still attached. So Monday at 8 a.m., if you just can't find the Google Meet, open up this interactive journal and bam, right there. Okay, um, and then same thing with Tuesday, bam, right there. Oh, and same thing with Friday, bam, right there. Okay, or you can click it as uh, it's posted as an assignment in your Google Classroom. So Google Meet links will also be set up um, as assignments to pop up in your Google Classroom. Okay, remember you don't have to go to Google Meets, uh, but they do give some important information. So if you miss one and you wanna listen in, you would just go to recorded Google Meets and as we, like on Monday, I'll post it after the meeting right here and you'll just click it and you can listen to what happened. So guys, I hope this is more user friendly for you and a little easier to get around. Um, please feel free to ask questions, but please, please follow the directions, okay? Uh, try to self-advocate. I am totally here to help you, but um, let's make sure we're reading directions and doing uh, what's best for our learning, okay? So with that said, that is all I have. And um, I hope we have an amazing week and I'll see y'all throughout the week. Bye, guys.